All right, here we are at the 928 site. Just came up the little ridge line here. A lot of runoff. Water coming down these drainages over the years. Moves stuff around. Impact site is over there, uh, just beyond this little hill in the foreground. Some of the debris came up over this hill here. And as I'm coming up the ridge line, I'm just looking down. And of course, look at this. Still shiny. Just laying there. Where is it? Oh, there it is. There's another little piece right here. piece of titanium just laying there for 50 years. This is just incredible. So I'm going to work this ridge here. I'm sure there's more stuff to be found. I'm just going to slow down. This, these are the first pieces I encountered coming up this ridge here. So I'm just going to work the area and work slowly up past those two yuccas there. Up uh, up the ridge there and then down the slope on the other side and see what I find. There's a good piece of the uh, the uh, composite material probably off of the uh, um, maybe off of the, the vertical tail. You can see the little honeycomb pattern there. Pretty cool, huh? There's just all kinds of stuff out here. A little piece of sheet titanium there with some holes torn out. Looks like it's been hot. It looks like maybe it was black there and it was in a fire. Pretty good heavy piece here. There's stuff all over the place. This is an awesome outing. Hope I find something really, really good. It'd be nice to find something from the cockpit like an instrument or something. That's kind of like the holy grail out here, I guess. I'm gonna keep looking. Not sure what this is. I think it might be a piece of the tire. A piece of one of the tires. It's got some cord on one side and some rubber on the other. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not rubber. Maybe it's just some some kind of composite. Nice piece right there. Actually two, there's a little one right there. A nice big piece there. That's good titanium there. There's the impact side over there on the opposite uh, on the opposite hill there and the aircraft came down about down from there head over there and then it kind of combination tumbled and exploded and bounced off that berm right there that hill in the middle and then the debris field just came across this little ravine here and scattered all over the place and I think every single part of the airplane was broken into many little parts so there's literally hundreds of thousands of little pieces and medium sized pieces here's one right here I mean you can come up here and collect these all day long very interesting stuff I'm gonna keep looking Here's an interesting shot. Straight ahead, that bear patch over there. That's the impact site. And over there, that's the mountain on the other side of that. That's where, uh, where Walt came down. That's where his memorial is.
There's the impact site right there. That's it for the day. I'm gonna head back to the camp. Have some lunch, rest for a little while. Look at my my finds today. Take some photos. Get ready for tomorrow. I'm gonna to try to find some engine parts tomorrow. There's a little bit of cockpit wiring there, it looks like, maybe for instrument panel or something like that. Doesn't look like high temperature wiring. Little splices there. Here's a neat piece. This looks like it's from the cockpit, a little aluminum uh, strip with a label on it, inboard. On the other side, it's all kind of twisted up, but it says on. So that's obviously some label for a cockpit control. Here's the cool piece. Compressor stator blade from a Pratt & Whitney J58. Looks like it's uh, from, one of the, uh, from one of the back stages. It's pretty short, maybe about four four and a quarter inches long and yeah, maybe four and a half all twisted up pretty cool stuff